was the trap and the uh, the wham play. So uh, them coming out with it and uh, making that play in the backfield, uh, yeah, like Hype said, it was set the tone. They didn't really run it, run it a lot after that. They ran it like a few times later on in the game, but that did change the trajectory of the game a lot. Uh, Patrick Van Brand. How different has this season been for you? Obviously, last year you had the injury, and you come back to it later on in the season. You've been healthy all season. Now, how, how much is that helping you play like you are? Uh, you know, one of the things was uh, losing a lot of weight. Uh, I've got down like 15 pounds now, so I feel a lot better out on the field. You know, to play more, uh, get a lot more snaps and everything. So it's changed a lot. It has helped me a lot. 15 pounds from last season, or? Uh, yeah, from, from last season. I like. Did you know you were, you were going to get the start, and what did you do? I mean, I know you've been in the rotation, but you obviously played early. Why was that the case? Was that matchup? Was that you <coughs> from the practice field? And what kind of accomplishment is that for you that you're getting that much more into the rotation and that many more snaps? Um, a lot of it has to do with uh, we, we rotate a lot. We don't have like a really a starting starting uh, front, but we, we rotate. Uh, me, Omar, Bryson, um, Big O, uh, Jackson, we got uh, Hobbs. We all rotate a lot, so we all just change out who we who we come out with every game, or, or so uh, so much like that. But we all we all have done a lot of things that uh, Coach Coach G liked in practice, and it's uh, it's helped us. We were able to rotate a lot more and get a lot more guys on the field. So he's just, just coming out of practice, doing the right things in practice, showing that we can play in game. Brian in the back. Just how, how much confidence are you guys playing with right now defensively? And, and is there a different mindset for this team? I mean, just from the way you guys responded to the, to the turnovers, going and getting the ball right back and things like that. Is there just kind of a belief you guys are going to get stops compared to the past year, maybe? Yeah, it honestly started uh, spring ball, man. We, uh, we had a lot of, a lot of big plays in spring. A lot of guys doing, really doing great things, and we just knew from there that as we continue to go on and, and progress and progress, that we're going, uh, it's going to turn over to the field and show, and show a lot of that on the field. So yeah. Casey in the back. Last year when you changed your number, you mentioned that you wanted to be kind of different guy, different work ethic, wearing the number ten. What do you like the most about who you've been able to be wearing the number ten these last? season and a half? Um, some of the main things is just focusing on being more vertical, being more violent off the ball. Um, number change is just a little thing I did, but as just being as a player, just being more vertical, more violent, like Coach G wanted me to be doing those things that uh, Coach G likes and some of the things that's going to help me uh, get to the next level. So, yeah. Paige. Uh, I mean, what we've been doing, we've been coming out early, playing fast, playing physical, uh, knowing our assignments, just uh, being taken to sound and everything like that. That's one of the big things Coach, Coach G uh, harps on a lot in practice, in the meeting rooms and everything like that. So those are some of the big things. Patrick? Well, Oklahoma, NC State, any time they ran between the tackles, it didn't really go very well. But how much pride do you take in, in being a guy that's tough to move and, and, and can't be blocked, can't be moved, and, and kind of stuff in those plays up? Well, we uh, we take a lot of pride in stopping the run first, going past second. So just like I was saying, everybody on the on the D line is real powerful. They know how to hold the point, and being able to do that can change change the game in a lot of ways. A lot of a lot of plays go to the perimeter, won't go on the side. It's harder. It's harder for offense to uh, run the perimeter than the inside. So, yeah, just like that. Rick in the back. Elijah back here. So you guys as a unit have a lot of momentum and a defense have a lot of momentum going. Would you have rather been playing this weekend or is the open day coming at a good time? Oh yeah, I'd rather play this. I'd rather play every week, man. Uh, 
right? Get that, uh, get the opportunity to make plays, just like each uh, each one of us out there. We all want to play. We all want to do what uh, do what's best for the team. Anything else for Elijah? Ryan, we'll finish with you. Elijah, was it what what did it mean to you guys if anything to see? You know, Coach Heifel kind of dialed back the offense a little bit and just kind of showed that belief in you guys to hold up things. And did, did you kind of know that that was going to happen? Were you kind of seeing it happen and saying, whoa, this is on us? Or what, what was your reaction to that? I mean, no, but we all got to be ready. Uh, we did think the offense would uh, make a lot of plays, and they did and when it needed, when it needed to happen. But defense is always going to be ready to come out and, and play physical and be ready for whatever goes on. Thanks a lot, Joe. Yes.